Howdy. We are going to take a look at Access, and today we're going to walk through working our first query and adding a table. Let's get started. Going to my IT lab, you may go through Blackboard or you may go through my IT lab. You need to sign into your account and go to the assignment and download your grader files. I'm going to go the course materials route. You can also go to your, through your assignment calendar. I'm going to go to access. I'm going to go to homework assignments. And today we're working on chapter two. Go to the grader assignments. And then it's going to ask you to download files. What I like to do is either on my pen drive or on my desktop. I will create a new folder. I right clicked and I click folder and I'm going to call this access to. Now I know that my access to is files are here and I can browse for those as I work on the files. You can always customize your file folder and make it lo look unique for you so you know what you're looking for. Today I'm going to apply a picture to the access to folder. So now I know what I'm looking for. I'm going to put it right over here. And now I'm going to download all the files. I downloaded all zip files together. That enables me to open the folder that they've downloaded in. And now I can click each one and copy them over into my access to. Or I hit my control button. Take that back. And hit the hit one file, then hit my control button, and then highlight all three. And then I'm just going to drag them into my folder. Once I see that that folder highlights in the background, I can drop them right in, and all three folders would move there. I'm going to double click and make sure all three files are inside my folder. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of my IT lab, and it's time to go to work on Access. When I work with Access. I think it's important to keep this original raw file. And the reason why I do that is um, sometimes we make mistakes or we have challenges with the file. And if we have the original raw file, we can easily go back and do it again. According to the instructions, you're supposed to enable content and file save as your file, keeping the file's name and I'm going to go ahead and save it back into my desktop into that cool folder I made. But I'm also this time, since I'm working on it for a video recording, I'm going to use my last name and my first name. And for me, I'm going to add video so I know what I'm doing. You don't need this video portion in your name. You just need your first and last name. Make sure you browse to your folder and then you need to save. Now Access is asking us again, do we want to enable content? Yes, we want to enable content, so we're going to click Yes. And now we're ready to begin. Now we need to create a new table in Datasheet View using the name Donations. Create, Table, and to save the table and name it Donations, we click right-click our tab, go to Save, and then the Save As dialog box pops up, and we want to name our table Donations. We type in Donations and click OK, and notice the tab of our table changed to the Donation Title, as well as the table location over in Access Objects. Now we're asked to switch to Design View and change our ID to Donation ID. Okay. So 
So it wants us to change our ID to donations ID. And here we are in our field name, and our primary key is just ID. But we want it to be donation ID. So I'm going to just click my mouse in that field and type the word donation. And you can see that ID is still there. If you wipe it all and um, type over, that'll work as well. It b remains our primary key because all we did was change a field name. And once we tab out of that field row, then that has been saved. Our next job is to add the following field names right here in Design View into our table. We want Donor ID, Plant ID, Donation Date, and Donation Amount. Let's get started. So the first one we want, we already have Donation ID, but our first one is Donor ID. Donor ID. We're going to tab through that record. And then our next one is plant ID. So we're going to type plant ID and tab through that record. And then our next one is donation date. Donation date. And notice in the field names we have no spaces. And then in the next one we have donation amount. Now it's asking us to change the data type for the donor and plant fields to number. And as you'll notice, we have data type right up here. And it's automatically the field auto number for the donation ID, our primary key. So access itself is going to designate a number for each unique record in the donation field. But for um, donor ID and plant ID, we want to go to a number data type. So let's do that. We're going to come over to data type and we're going to click over here in the pull down menu and we have all sorts of choices. And we're going to change donor ID to number and we're going to change plant ID to number as well. Now we're going to go down to the data type for donation date, which is a field name, and change it to date and time. So here's our donation date. And over here is our data type. We're going to click the arrow and bring our pull down menu to date and time. Now change the data type for donation amount, your final field name, to currency. So when people donate an amount of money, it's going to have dollars and cents. By changing the data type field to currency, the donation amount will show up in our database as dollars and cents. So we're going to click on our pull down menu. We're going to change to currency. Now our, the assignment is asking us to switch to data sheet view. We're going to come over to view and we're going to click on data sheet view. It's telling us we must save the table, so we can say save, and we're set to go. Add the following records to the donation table. But here's something important to note. Let access assign the donation ID. So so by letting access do the donation ID. This new right here, we're just going to tab past and we're going to start entering information in donor ID. So the first thing it asks us to enter is a plant donor of 24. And then I tab across. I find that easier to work with. A plant ID of 15 and a donation date of 7-17-2014. 
and then a donation amount of 1200 I tab through to my next one. Again, access where the word new is, is going to assign that donor ID for me. I'm going to move on to donor ID, and then I'm going to look at my second row here of information and enter that in. I'm going to start with my 9. And I'm going to tab over and I'm going to have my 11 for my plant ID, my August 1st, 2014 date, and my $1,500 donation. And I'm just going to keep entering these fields, records. And our final record fourteen, eleven, nine, nine, two thousand fourteen, oops, and four hundred and fifty dollars. Sort the records in the donation table, we're still in the donation table, by the donation amount and descending order. So we can click donation amount and we can come up here to our sort and filter box and descending means we want to go the backwards way of the alphabet. So Z would be first, but when we're talking about amounts, the largest amount would be first. So if we do this correctly, we're looking for that 4600 to move up to the top. We're going to click descending and access moves our largest amount to the top and our smallest amount to the bottom. Our next instructions are to save and close the table. You can click on the donations title, right click, save, and then come over to the X and close the table.